narcissistic individuals tend to believe they're entitled to do as they please and they are preoccupied with themselves. They have that sense of grandiosity, that need for excessive attention, they lack empathy. And narcissistic individuals can display a range of behaviours based on these criteria. And one of the most disturbing and dangerous is those narcissists who have that touch of sadism within them. And sadism is to derive pleasure from inflicting pain and suffering and humiliation on others. And a few signs you're dealing with a narcissist that has that hint of sadism within them is they have that complete lack of empathy, like other narcissistic individuals, and they get pleasure out of inflicting pain on others. They get pleasure in causing emotional and physical pain to those around them without remorse or understanding. And it leads to some of the most cruel, calculated and callous behaviours. They will go all out to manipulate. They will use emotional manipulation, gaslighting. They will go all out to instill confusion and fear in those around them. And then they will have that little smirk on their face when they've accomplished what they set out to do. They have that cruel sense of humour. They get pleasure out of other people's pain. They get pleasure out of watching other people suffer. They are the kind of person that will walk down the street on a red hot summer's day, see some water left out for the animals and kick it over and feel pleased within themselves. They have a complete lack of remorse. They will rationalise and minimalise and excuse their behaviour if they believe they need to do so to avoid responsibility. However, they have that complete lack of remorse. They have a need for control. They have that pervasive pattern of behaviour. They need to be dominant. They have that need for dominance and control. They will use threats and intimidation and physical force in order to get their needs met. They have that boundary violation. They frequently cross your boundaries. They invade people's personal space. They have a complete disregard for consent. They will use coercive and controlling behaviours because they lack the concern for other people's welfare. They're just looking to get their needs met. They will have a strong history of violence. They will have a track record of bullying or aggression. They will have a history of violent behaviour, both physical and emotional and they have a complete disregard for other people's safety. They're only interested in getting their own needs met and when they've caused somebody pain you will often notice that little smirk on their face.